Hey y'all, welcome back to Hopped Up Beer Review. Today, we are drinking Purple 9000. It's part of the drive through series from Parish Brewing Company out of Broussard, Louisiana. Thank you for joining us. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing. We are back to do that again. We've got a fun one, and we are excited for this one for sure. I've got Andy in the attic. I'm, I'm just jumping right in. I got Andy in the attic. I got Jay. I'm Ben. What are we drinking today? Purple 9000, part of the drive through series from Parish Brewing. I'm excited. It's a good one. Let's drink it. I'm most excited because you two jokers have both had this. <laughs> I could not move uh, out on this one. I usually save myself, but I've seen it advertised. It's new. And it was in your store. Yeah, it was actually, it's like, oh, they finally, the distributors finally got it here. Look at that color. Beautiful. Yeah, so. I'm the only one who has yet to have this one, so that is pretty. Wow. Mm. Cheers, mates. Beer. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Wow. <laughs> Sweet syrupy goodness. That is good. It's a fun beer. All right. The drive through purple 9000. It's a sour. It's a fruited Berliner Weiss. And it's part, or it's 8%. And IBUs, I don't know, because untaps is zero, but um, Parrish did not indicate how many. So the drive through series is so. Parish Brewing is uh, in Southern Louisiana, and they have a, a series of their beers called the Drive Through, and they're based on Louisiana daiquiri flavors. And so this daiquiri is purple, purple nine thousand is called, but they for short they call it Perp down there. Um, so I looked up. And before I get too deep into not just the innuendos, double entendres, mixed meanings behind the name, uses crystal hops. So um, I'll get into the other flavors or the other ingredients. But I was like, okay, perp. Uh, I have to look up perp because it's been forever since I've been through Louisiana and trying their daiquiris. Granted, I grew up adjacent to Louisiana, right on the river. And my first formative years of alcohol experience were driving across the river to <laughs> the bars and, and, you know, somewhere holding the wall bars. I mean, and where not only there was a bar, but there was a package liquor store attached. And then there was a drive through window where you could get packaged liquor or daiquiris and drive away. And what they would do is, you know, because it was make sure that it was a not an open container and they've included this on the can, you know, they would put the straw with keep the top, you know, uh, part of the paper of the straw on. It's it's a closed <laughs> container. It's not an open container in your vehicle. So it was legit legal to sell and drive away. With. I in, did in not notice that. Cup. I yeah, didn't either. I That's a nice touch. I looked so at this. I thought that was yeah, wow. such a Louisiana thing to do. Yeah, that definitely is for sure. Yeah. So back in those days, uh, you know, being from Mississippi and people who don't know, and I'm going to go on a, on a tangent, you know, on a, on the side here. Uh, we used to get our driver's license at 15. Well, Louisiana was one of the last holdouts in the nation for, um, upping the alcohol age to 21 they used to be 18 for years and they lost out a lot of federal funding so if you're driving down lots of parts of louisiana you know the roads are crappy that's because they're way behind even from years ago but 
go into these, there's two hole in the wall bars right on the other side of the river. Daiquiri World was one, PJ's was the other. And um, we would go there and I was 15 with a driver's license getting over there. And if you had a license, you could get in pretty much, you know, back then there was no special holograms or anything, or I'd even get white out and keep in a, you know, on a tack and put it out in certain spots to make it look. And when there's some old dude named turtle under this bad lighting, looking at IDs, you know, you're guaranteed to get in. So I have a big love of uh, Louisiana daiquiri. So that's why I was, uh, the drive through series just gets me excited. We've done, well, I, we haven't reviewed, but I know Jay and Ben, I don't know if you've had the Tiger Blood. That's another great one. Yeah. So Parrish, yeah, reminds me of childhood kind of, or adolescence. So <laughs> that's why, that's why you couldn't wait, right? That's, I, that's... I, I couldn't wait. I was just like, you know what? Let's get back to the good old days. I mean, yeah. I got to whip my whistle here. Yeah. As soon as he yeah. found a bin, you know he was cracking that bad boy. Yes, I, I couldn't wait. That's why I only sent him one originally. But then he <laughs> luckily, so. Yeah. And when I saw it in the store, I was like, oh boy. <laughs> and of all places, Kroger, they don't ever bring me crap. So, so I looked up because uh, they nicknamed it Perp. And so that's when I want to say, well, I, I looked at purple. Purp is also a, re a reference to a variety of marijuana uh, with purple flowers that a strain uh, of that. So I was like, is that purple kush? Could be. I don't know all my strains. And then that's something I, we cover in this show. Just I went a little further and talking, there's a song, Sip and Purp and uh, Scissor. And so but it has nothing to do with Louisiana daiquiri. It's uh, if you've ever heard of sis, uh, sip and perp, perp is a recreational beverage, drug beverage of uh, mixing prescription strength, cough and cold syrup containing codeine and promethazine. And that's just an antihistamine uh, and with a soft drink. So you mix those with the soft drink that's sip and perp. So, I mean, the only thing I can think of right now is Law Dog, uh, and that's not going to mean anything for our viewers. <laughs> yeah, but it'll mean something for the just two if of you know, you that's know. All I can, that's all I can think of. Yeah. So. Wow. <clears throat> so that's a throwback. Yeah. Back to the beer. Yeah. <laughs> so back from the uh, the wrong references to her uh, in this beer. This has flavors rem also reminiscent of a grape snowball. So. Daiquiri flavors can also be put just in a regular non-alcoholic snowball too. So that was, that's one of the cool things. So you just don't put the alcohol in it, but this one, and it says it on the can there, and uh, it's probably too small for a lot of people to read, but it's got boysenberries, uh, marionberries and purple wine grape blend. Me being the curious guy, I'm like, I've heard of boysenberries. I don't think I've heard of marionberries, but I was like, boysenberry. I don't know if you've heard of it. Do you know what a boysenberry is? If you looked at a boysenberry, could you say, oh, that's a boysenberry? Me either. Heard of it. But... Uh, yeah. It's known for its vivid purple color, a boysenberry. It's an actually, it's it was a genetically modified fruit, I guess you could call it, because it, it's a cross between a European raspberry, a European blackberry, an American dewberry, and a loganberry. It's got a kind of a sweet and tart flavor at the same time. So, and we'll show a bro a boysenberry right here. Oh, Ben, you got some editing to do. Yeah, either I'm going to edit that part out of the video, or yeah. I'm gonna put a <laughs> boysenberry in. So, you're going to edit one, one way or another. I just added so. more work for myself, but you know. And okay. then uh, a Marionberry. Are there pictures of that on the web? I, I'm sure there are. Yes. If, if and, there are, um, then we'll throw one right here. They're rich and sweet and sour flavor. Um, they're actually a variety of blackberry. The difference is they're more conical than a blackberry. So make sure you, you get a conical looking blackberry as your Marionberry right here. Or maybe wow. I don't know where I'm going to be. Maybe it's right there or there. I've I already, know. I've already, I don't know where it, I'm so. going to be when in the final edits and. So that's that. That's we all. May, I might just edit. I may edit you out for the final edit. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all I found out about this beer. Um, Parish Brewing Company, Broussard, Louisiana, 2003. 
founded regional brew. Y'all go back at the tapes. We've done them so many times. We've got a playlist. If you want to learn about them, start with brain cake. Brain cake. What's the first one? Yeah. The first. Yeah. That we did anyway. Uh, we'll put that playlist at the end. So when you get to the end of this video, if you want to watch more parish, it'll be one of the options in the, in the squares or rectangles, whatever they are. Uh, that pops up at the end of the video. So check that out and we'll have a whole list of, of parish that we have uh, reviewed uh, because they have some really good beer. So you definitely need to check that out. Oh, and, uh, I want to say that based at the time that this airing was, sorry. Oh, hey, George. Yeah. Um, they, Parish Brewing Company, um, they win silver for their um, cane break. It's their um, their weed ale at the Great American Beer Festival in Denver. And this is now 2000, September 2023. So congratulations oh. to Parrish on which was their original flagship. It is the flagship, but it's it used to be their most widely sold or the most popular beer, which got overtaken by Ghost of the Machine. But, and, you know, one of their original, their, their original beer is winning medals to this day so and cane break awesome. was one of the ways we got involved with wesley uh from our discord because he was wanting to get some cane break because he'd had it before and so that's how we started collaborating or swapping beer so making yeah, an so early reference to our discord channel two thoughts there one uh andy i think we should probably i mean how much ink you got left in that inkjet printer we should probably print up like a congratulatory banner it, it page, broke. something. I'm actually down to my brother word processor right now. And so that's, wow. but it can still Is print. It, do you have the dot matrix printer? Yeah. It so makes that. Okay. Okay. So that's good because you can do banners sideways on that. Um, yeah. So yeah, let's, let's shoot one down to uh, our friends at Parish. Uh, as a congratulatory message. Uh, secondly, yes, as you as you noted, Discord is where you guys need to be. If you are not, come say hey in our Discord server. Uh, you can chat with the three of us, and you can chat with the others there, like Wes, who has joined us on, gosh, I mean, like 30 or 40 videos now, I think uh, we, we've done with Wes. Uh, that's what it seems like anyway. Um, so Come hop in our Hopped Up Beer Review Discord server. Say hey to three of us. Say hey to Wes. Say hey to the others over there. All right. Uh, Sir Attic, do you have anything else to hear for us? All I've got to say is I'm done with that. And uh, you're going to give us your rating first. Yeah, I get to go first per Hopped Up Beer Review tradition here. We're making a tradition as we have. Uh, if you have not had the beer, you get to go first. So, lucky me, because you know what? I've had this beer longer than Andy actually had it, and I did not drink it. I've still got several in my fridge. Um, so, you know, I'm going to do a little pat myself on the back for waiting here. But, uh, you know, I, I think this beer is really, really good. It's I like a really good sour. This one is it's a little thick, which I'm, I'm fine with. Um, but man, it's got some really good flavor in here. It it doesn't quite have that sour tart pucker punch in the face that I really, really like from a sour, but the flavor is fantastic. It is very sweet, but man, it, it is good. It definitely, definitely reminds me of trips to Louisiana, Daiquiri Bar. If you've ever done that and you find this beer, this beer is definitely for you. I'm going with an eight on this one. I think it is is really, really good. All right. My turn. Yeah, I was about oh, to say. Andy, you... Andy go last. He's been talking yeah. a whole lot. He got super excited. And, you know, we, we don't know. We got to let, let him calm down for a minute or two. So, yeah, um, I, I've always been a, uh, a fan of things that are kind of that great flavor. Uh, I love, you know, your red wines and this one to me, when I saw it, I was excited because I, I actually got it, I think, first out of us, didn't I? Mm -hmm. uh, you did. Yeah. So I, I was I was on vacation and, and just ran across it or just at a store and they had several parish beers. And uh, I got I got excited like Andy and 
uh, you know, first blush when you crack this thing, you could smell all of that that berry and purple, you know, aroma comes through. Great flavor. I agree with you, Ben. I mean, it's it's more like a smoothie sour in a lot of ways, I guess would be a way I'd put it. Uh it's not that super tart or, you know, you know, like like you said, it's not gonna make you pucker, but the flavor on it is just tremendous and and the creativity and the uh that that parish continues to show with all of their their sours and other drinks um hats off to them um for me i i've gotten more and more into the sours this is this is a an eight and a half so all right andy well i've been um kind of pondering my um behavior with untapped after drinking this because usually when i drink untapped or when i drink a beer and i'm gonna rate on untapped especially if it's the first time i take my pour it take my picture take some few sips and then i give my rating but i think i was a little premature in my initial rating on this which i gave it a favorable rating but the more i drink it as it isn't as cold as it is from the fridge and I, it opens up with more flavor. So it's even more flavorful to me. So my score tonight is going to be a little higher than my original initial uh, untapped score, um, which we'll get to that, but it is <laughs> like, we, like both y'all said a thicker feel um, on a sour. It's just almost syrupy, but not in a negative way way it um it's kind of equal parts sweet and tart but it's not too much one way or the other it's that balance of sweet and tart and it tastes purple almost in a in a purple flavor but in a good way cheap red italian table wine kind of <laughs> feel to it um that you know just goes great with some pasta and bread and you just want to gorge on it so uh, it's just another good one by parish uh and like i said after contemplating this you know because i was like wow this tastes even better than i did the other night when i had it or the other day um i'm gonna give it an 8.0 it's uh it's great like, i think i gave it originally 7.5 but i was like yeah this deserves an eight at least so i'm up in the score Thank you, Parrish. Yeah, and, and and you know, as often as I do, anyway, when you when you guys kind of talk about some things, it makes me think about some other things too. I I think one thing, if you've ever had Chambord, you know the mm -hmm. uh, the yep. liquor yep. raspberry man, liqueur, yeah, that's very similar, very similar flavor to what this this is just is. carbonated in a lot of ways and. And probably a little lighter, not as thick in the alcohol. Exactly. Like, yeah. I mean, it's Chambord. 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 Yeah. It comes in a kind of a more of an oblong, you know, a rounded yeah. uh, bottle. I'll put a picture yeah. up here. It's, um, but it's yeah. good. Man, it, it's, it's Jay. It's great and for I, a nightcap. Man, Jay, uh, you know, what, what, what was the shot that we used to have? Purple Hearts. Yeah. Uh, uh from from our buddy uh who used to make us purple heart shots. I don't I don't know if that's even actually a real shot, but he used to make those for us and and that left me reminding he made it up. Probably. Uh that that is what I, I'm thinking of with this with this drink. And the other thing is just, you know, it as a I think they hit the nail on the head as far as what you get when you think about like a a daiquiri barn. You know, you're going through again. I mean, this is as close as you can get with a beer to a daiquiri that you would pick up from one of those. I mean, it 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 just uh, the, the the marketing and the name and everything is spot on. If you've ever been through a daiquiri bar in Louisiana, this is this is a that in beer form. So and the creativity to get there. I mean, knowing that you're putting all these ingredients into something. And hoping it comes out. I mean, I, 
I imagine it to take some time to figure that out. So lots of chemistry that goes into it as well. All right. That is going to give us an 8.2 for the drive through purple 9,000 from Parrish Brewing Company out of Broussard, Louisiana. Hey, have you ever been through a drag you're born in Louisiana? If you have, this is a beer you have to pick up. Have to. You have to find it some way, somehow, because this is going to take you back to that experience, whether it was a week ago or 20 years ago. This is this is one of those beers. So uh, 30 years ago for me, kind of. I mean, you were so old, man. I I thought I was trying to we're all you know, the same age, practically. I mean, I mean I'm younger than both of y'all, but just technically, you know, <laughs> technically I'm that's a technicality, old. man. I just I just want to throw it out there. I mean, you know, we're talking I, yeah, months. <laughs> I had to go like I think Andy is like Mm, he just had his birthday and mine's coming up and then yours is like right behind that. So, I mean, literally we're all within like three months of each other. I mean, this is true, but I mean, I haven't gone and gotten the wig yet. <laughs> right. And I haven't gone just with uh, no hair, you know, so I'm really just trying to, I uh, have a picture of you bald. <laughs> that That's not going to show up down here. So <laughs> it could show up on discord. It might yeah, man, come to but, Discord. You know what? I, I mean, I'd run Discord too, so I can, I can. <laughs> I, maybe I can delete that. I don't, I don't know if I can or not. Honestly, <laughs> I, so yeah, I can throw it out there on Twitter. Come visit. Us if you Twitter. want to see me with no hair, I mean, I, that's, I'm sure that's nobody. Uh, come say, yeah. hey, <laughs> come say hey on our Discord channel. Uh, talk to three of us. Uh, I mean, I think, I think the bigger like draw would be to see Andy with the wig off. Right. I mean, if we could get the wig, oh, yeah, it's just... I, I think that would be, I think that would be the bigger, the bigger draw at this point. Anyway, uh, come to, come check out our discord server. Come say to three of us, <laughs> others that have joined us there. Uh, we, we just like to have fun and, and that's one place we do it other than the show. Uh, also be sure to like, subscribe, cheers, that notification bell. If you've not done so already, check out all of our social media. Got all those down below in the description. And if you are in, all interested in any hopped up beer review merch, like a glass, a koozie, a shirt that we sometimes wear on the show, uh, there's a link down there below for that. We don't make any money off of that. We just provide it because, you know, hopped up beer review merch in your life is going to make you happier. Uh, probably. Um, yes. yeah. With that... Uh, definitely appreciate you guys checking out this video. We've had a lot of fun on this one today. For Andy in the Attic and Jay, I am Ben. Cheers, Cheers mates. Cheers, mates.